How's it going, Internet? It is I, Shroom, and tonight I'm going to be playing some more modern. And um, do you ever play these games? These are the first ever Magic the Gathering video games that were released, you know, sometime in the late I uh, 90s. And you've probably heard of Shandalar, the like stand the board game where you walk around, you like collect cards and fight wizards. And uh, you also could just play Magic the Gathering against a, a very terrible AI. And there was like, all the vintage cards were there with no deck building restrictions whatsoever. So you could have like four black lotuses, you know, in your deck. And it's probably a good idea to do that. Anyway, when I was playing those games way back in the day, I had a deck that was like Hypnotic Specters with uh, like Stone Rains, Lightning Bolts, uh, Sinkholes, uh, you know, like Mind Twists. It's basically like a discard, burn, land destruction deck, just like trying to destroy every resource my opponent has, uh, you know, brazenly and spectacularly. And um, it was so much fun that I always tried to like recreate that deck. Uh, and I have recreated it in modern a couple of times. I just haven't shown it off on the stream. So let's go ahead and do that tonight. I call this deck Hate Rack. And um, it is a rack deck. Uh, we are running four copies of the rack and one copy of Shrieking Affliction. It's, it is Rakdos as opposed to uh, just being mono black, like, Eight rack usually is. Uh, it's also smallpox deck. Uh, we're running the full play set of smallpox, which does everything we want to do. It can be extremely devastating. Uh, it makes our players lose life, discard cards, sack creatures, sack lands. Um, and dovetailing on the smallpoxes, why not add some more LD? You know, we're all going to be making them lose lands with our smallpox. Why not throw in a couple of molten rains, which also burn them if we're destroying a non basic land, and uh, a couple of pillages, which can also destroy artifacts. So uh, we are a rack deck, so we're trying to get our opponent empty-handed as quickly as possible. We've got the full play set of Thoughtseize, we've got our Inquisitions, we've got a one of Raven's Crime just as a, a repeatable means of um, having people discard. We've got, of course, the four Liliana of the Veils, and um, since we don't have the full set of racks, we need other ways to close out games. We'll do that with Lightning Skill Elementals. Uh, I really like these guys. They're like... A, ball lightnings but they mind rot your opponent when they do damage uh which is really nice like uh if you get one of these through it's it's pretty devastating and we also have a croxa um uh, and routing out the main board we got a little bit of interaction uh, removal that is with fatal push and of course the full set of bolts um there's a total of 24 lands in the deck uh one hive of the eye tyrant one den of the bugbear a castle locked Dwayne. And what else? A Bajuka Bog. I'm trying out a Bajuka Bog in the main board. Just as a little bit of graveyard hate, since we are going to be putting lots of cards in our opponent's graveyard, uh, as well as one Urborg. The sideboard contains a couple of Bontu's Last Reckoning. It's modeled still very much after like Tom Ross's eight rack deck that was that he was playing quite a while back, in you know, maybe like 2015 or so. Um, so I don't know if this card is like good in 2023 magic but i'm running it three mana sweep everything you don't untap on your next turn which is a huge disadvantage but i can see how this might still be good go blank is uh our graveyard hate along with some dothy void walkers death shadow this is against like burn and aggro decks uh the death shadow could be really huge if we're at a low life total and we have the ability to kind of pivot into like a uh like a kind of a beatdown deck we've got three rabble masters you know, along with our Void Walkers, our Death Shadows, and a couple of Culligan's Col commands. So we can kind of juke our opponent out if they're, you know, especially control decks. They're going to board out, like, their, their Supreme Verdicts, a lot of their creature removal after game one, when they see that we have, like, virtually no creatures. And we can juke them, we can jank them out by, uh, by boarding into these Rabble Masters, which do have the ability to just take over the game by themselves. We can recycle them with the K commands. Of course, we can also make our opponent discard and do damage and um, destroy artifacts with K command. And finally, Pithy Needle, I think, is just a good card to have in modern, generally speaking. There's a lot of good targets for it. Like the One Ring is really good against us, really, really good against us. So that would be something we would name with Pithy Needle. Also, like Yogmoth is a good target for Pithy Needles. So that is the plan. We're going to take away everything our opponent tries to do we're going to make them discard their cards we're going to blow up their lands you know we're going to burn them in the face uh we're going to get them with croxa i forgot to mention there's two croxa in the main board and uh anything that does get through the cracks we're going to kill it we're going to kill it uh while making them sack lands and discard cards so that is modern hate rack and i'm going to be running this through some matches on the in the practice queue now, this is the kind of deck that's like borderline, like it's 
kind of a little too rude for the practice queue. Like if I were playing actual, you know, known uh, mono black eight rack, I would definitely play a league and not in the practice queue. But since this is a brew uh, and it's not like a known thing, I'm going to run the practice queue because I was just watching someone play uh, online earlier today and it was like scam beans, scam beans, beans. And um, that just doesn't seem like it would make very good content for this, which is a channel that's focused around, like, casual decks. You know, I'd like my decks to be able to win matches, but um, this is probably not a deck that you're going to take down uh, an RCQ with. So we're going to stick to the practice queue. If there was some uh, demand for leagues, I would consider it. Just go ahead and leave a comment if, if that's something you would like to see. And if you want to support me and you like off-meta, off-kilter MTG com uh, content, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Okay, so... Uh, we had a couple of uh, games where our opponents scooped after game one, um, so I think it's it's just a fact that we're going to have to play a league. Uh, they start upon pairing. There's no longer a confirmation to join. Okay. We're going to have to do a league. Uh, people in the practice queue don't want to play against small pox. So we're against fish magic. Uh, so I've got all the racks. I've got smallpox. Eh. It's a keepable hand, I think. Okay, we didn't get uh, scammed on turn one. That's good. I don't want to play these racks early because I don't want to give up what we're doing. All right, let's go polluted delta. All right, well, they won't have any counter spells, which is good. So let's go ahead and pillage one of their lands. Be nice to draw a discard spell at some point. There's a Ragavan. Which I don't have an answer for at the moment. Okay, there's an answer for Ragavan. Ragavan not dead after okay, so they are a scam. Well, I guess it's the Ragavan. So I might as well play these racks, because they're just going to grief me. Unfortunately, this smallpox is going to get griefed, so I won't be able to use it. So I'm kind of dead in the water here. What was their hand? Yeah. Although they didn't have the card to pitch to grief. 
they, now they can just hard cast the grief. All right, I would love to draw another smallpox of Liliana. Just to land. All right. There's a fury. Well, I mean, they didn't get any value out of it, so that's good. On the other hand, it is a 3-3 double striker, and I can't stop drawing lands. So I need to draw something right now. Actually, I think I'm just dead to bolt. Uh, dead to bolt in either one of those creatures. So I don't think I have anything I can draw. Plus they have the not dead after all, even if I do draw a removal spell. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield, then create a wicked roll. Well, it doesn't matter. We're dead. Okay, so scam. Wonderful. Uh, what do I want against them? Dothies? Death Shadow? Do I go to creature mode here? They're probably going to remove, like, they didn't see a single creature on my side. I think I'd try for creature mode. I mean, we're going to need to get a little outside the box to beat the best deck in modern. So we'll trim our LD, Lily, push is good, bolt's good. Trimacroxa, Skelemental. I think we just cut all of our non smallpox LD. Cut Raven's Crime. Go down to two lilies. Let's try this. They might like they might board out their furies. Um yeah, this is a good deck. We can thoughts we're on the play, so we can thought season. Um it doesn't have any of our like sideboard cards, but I think turn one thought season is good. All right, well, we get to take their grief. All right, let's Inquisition. Take one of their not dead after alls. So that's their hand. Let's go ahead and shock since we, we do have this death shadow. And let's play a rack.
Um, do we just go for a smallpox? I think I would rather wait until they have a creature. Of course, smallpox is sorcery speed. So if they have a grief, it's just going to get taken. Plus, I would have to discard something. What the heck? Let's go for it. Yeah, I want to hold on to this Death Shadow. Unfortunately, discarding the fetch land means it's going to be harder for me to lose life. Oh, well that helps. Shock of Blood Crypt. Play a Death Shadow. Well, they're at five cards. Urborg. I don't even really want to play that. Bowmasters. So they can kill the Death Shadow. Wish I would have been able to get a little lower on life. Not dead after all, the Bow Masters. Comes back, pings again. Well, they are going to start taking rack damage. Smallpox. All right, let's do it. I'm going to sack Urborg, actually. We are unfortunately dying to this bow master. Oh, Lily. Let's see if they have a, a scam card. Bet you they do. Of course. Yeah, I probably should have just plussed. I don't know. They just always have the scam card. At least it's... Oh no, I'm just dead. Yep. That's Rakdos Scam. 
All right, we have found a match against MTG Chemist. And we're on the draw. All right, this is a one lander. Mm. It does have stuff I can play, but it's too risky. This small pox is like a dead card with this kind of start, so that's a mulligan. All right, this I can keep and put back a smallpox. I mean, this isn't this isn't a very good hand, but I don't want to go to five. More scamming. Takes away the rack. They could be they could be a scam deck and just not have gotten the nut draw. Hey. Well, like they know what we're doing now, so might as well play this rack before it gets thought seized. Doffy Voidwalker. Yeah, it's just scam again. I wouldn't mind drawing a land here, because I'll totally, I will totally smallpox. Molten Rain. See, if that Dothy's there, I can't play Kroxa. I can't play Raven's Crime. I don't know. I think I just go for Smallpox and hope I draw lands. Because that Dothy is shutting me down. So I discard before the Dothy dies. So I guess I'm discarding Molten Rain. Because I want to be able to use my Raven's Crime and my Croxa. Thought sees. Bolt. All right, let's crime you. Yeah, they're just scam. Are we just going to play five matches against scam in this league? Is that what's going to happen? Yep, yeah, Crooksa takes my bolts. Another rack, okay. Hey. 
<laughs> All right, the Rex got there. Nice. Smallpox. Devastating. So again, we could try juking into our creature plan because that worked so well in the first match. But they're going to be boarding out. They're probably going to board out Furies, right? They've got to. So let's bring in our creatures. And we'll do the same thing. We'll cut all of the non-smallpox LD. We'll cut a Croxa, because they're going to have graveyard hate. Cut a Lily. Couple Lilies. Skillamental, I'll keep one. I don't know, Raven's Crime. Oh, I left in a Molten Rain. Can I cut that and add back in a Skelemental? Skelemental's so bad versus Bowmaster. All right, let's see if we get to have a game. Now, this would be a reasonable hand of cards. See how many times we get thought seized by turn two. We'll keep. Oh. Okay, so they're just going for the turn one Fury. Which becomes a 4-4 four -four with their scam spell. And I don't have interaction because it's turn one. Not bad. Turn one, four, four, double striker. Well, we're going to have to find a way to deal with that, which I guess means smallpox. It's thought sees. Thought sees Voidwalker. I think I gotta take Thoughtseize, because Shrieking Affliction might be my path to victory. I hate... Ugh, the Voidwalker's so bad. I can bolt it. Or K-Command it. Yeah, I guess. I guess I gotta let him keep it. Okay, Swamp is their draw for turn. And I would like to draw smallpox, please. Although, yeah, I have to wait until the Dothy's dead before I can play it. So their one card in hand is Takanuma.
So I'm dead next turn. Which means, unfortunately, I have to kill the Voidwalker. Then I'll play Shrieking Affliction. All right, so I need smallpox or it's game over. Ooh, Liliana works too. Liliana works quite well. Although I'm at one life, so dead to a bolt. They could, of course, just have another scam spell. Rabble Master. Do I want Rabble Master or do I Rack plus Croxa? I think Rack plus Croxa is going to be the play. What do I discard? Rabs or K command? BZBG, thank you for the follow. How's it going? Um, what do I discard? Well, K Command is just two damage. Where Rabs could represent a lot more than that. The discard ability of K Command isn't going to be relevant because they're going to be empty handed from here going forward. So I guess I'll stick with Rabs. It takes six damage. Need them to not draw a lightning bolt, please. Okay, let's play our Rabble Master. Let's plus Lily. Oops. So, yeah, I think they're dead next turn. It's pretty fast clock. Rabs, it's pretty hard. We just got to dodge lightning bolts. No bolts. No Bowmaster. All right. <laughs> we got him. We beat Rakdos Scam version 2.0. So, yeah. Sweet. That time the, uh, the pivot worked pretty well. Actually, it was mostly our plan A that was effective there. Got the Rax and the Lily going. But the Rabs cleaned up. Sweet. Round three against Dark Dawson123. I like their Tarask avatar. Uh, we've got Thoughtseize. Yeah, discard spells, Rack, Bolt, and a Lily. That's a good hand. Maybe it's not Scam? I think I'll go... Grab my Blood Crypts. Go full pain. Teferi 
double omnath fury so it's beans probably focus of the royal okay two different omnaths well i guess i'm taking omnath because i can't take can't take it with inquisition They have a Beseju, unfortunately. But maybe they'll discard it. Alright, let's go Inquisition. Cosmic Rebirth. Choose target permanent card in your graveyard. Okay, so they'll be able to get back there to Fairy. Uh, why is Moto so bad about like keeping track of cards? Uh, and then I'll play this. Do I want to play the rack? Sure, let's play the rack. If they use their Beseju on it right now, they won't have... They'll need to draw another land to Cosmic Rebirth. Alright, the Cosmic Rebirth there to Fairy. Bounce the rack. Smallpox. Let's go Liliana. Plus. Discard. Land. I think the smallpox is going to be good. There's the Fury. They exiled their Omnath to cast it. Alright, their last card is Beseju. We can bolt to Fairy. We can smallpox, make him discard beside you, and then next turn we have the rack. Yeah, we're going scorched earth in this league. <laughs> I'll discard my other smallpox. And I'll sack probably hive, because the castle's cheaper to activate. Oh, double rack. That's four turns. Cliffs. Well, they're holding on the cards now. There's an Omnath. 
just draws a card because. So I would like a lily. Gonna make a bunch of mana. Bring to light. A risen reef. Cliffs. Of course, they just gain four life on each of their turns with Omnath, assuming they hit their lands. Another bring to light. For another Risen Reef. Smallpox. Um, does smallpox do anything? Five, it gets them to five, four, three, and makes them sack something. It brings me to eight. I think we just do it, right? Um, I'll sack one of these Black Cleaves Cliffs. Oh, are you not gaining life? Can I talk to like a bolt? No, they gain life. So I think that's GG. Yep. Um, I certainly don't want to go to the creature plan. I want go blank. I, think I want Bantu's Last Reckoning. Is that all? Maybe Duffy Voidwalker? Nah, let's just try those four cards. Cut a Skelemental. Pillage. Pillage's good. Bolt. Bolt is good. Fatal push is good. Cut one Kroxa. One Lily.
you know, I like the LD. Cut two lilies. Um. Okay. We can work with this. They mold a six. That's good. Go ahead and Inquisition. Need to draw some lands. They are, in fact, a Beanstalk deck. As that is the other playable deck that you can play in Modern. Can I draw a land, please? Please, give me a land. One that can generate red mana. No. Oh, man, that would have been so good. That is extremely disappointing. They discarded Bring to Lights. Ooh, come on, land, land, please. Ugh. You drew a land, but it's, it doesn't generate red. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going blank. Discards Fury and Bring to Light. So the, they have Risen Reef plus two unknowns. Chalice on one. Not really a big deal. Of course, I draw Thoughtseize. Ugh, why couldn't this be a red source? All right, they're whiffing on land drops, so that's good. Another go blank, guess. Discard Solitude and an Omnath. So there's the Risen Reef. Womp. Um, so do I Bontus here? Probably, right? Risen Reef is real bad. Lightning bolts. Another spell that falls into chalice. Can I please draw a source of red mana, please? Valky. No 
No creatures over here. Oh, they got my Skelemental. Oh no. That's so bad. Smallpox. Or Lily. Bantu's Last Reckoning. You know, if they want to transform it into a Skelemental, that's fine. I actually have three cards in my hand that I'll never be able to cast. It'd kind of help me out. Because then I can lock Thwain. Do I want to lock Thwain and take six damage? I think I'm at the point where, yes, I do. The rack. Which I can't play. Um, so I'm not winning by rack effects. I'm not winning with bolts. How am I winning? I think I'll just go for Kroxa. So now I really, really, really need a red source. Uh, if I had a red source, you know, earlier. I would have been able to skelemental them. I would have molten rain one of their lands. It would have been great. All right, smallpox is something. I'll discard Otsies. I have no way of uh, removing the Chalice, so I'll never be able to play it. Use the Swamp. I can cast one MV spells to empty my hand. Yeah, I could. So that I can start using Castle Lockthwain. That's true. Bolt you. Oh, it gets countered. How's it going, Bruler? Okay. Skillamental? Solitude, Leyline Binding, draw a card, of course. All right. More beans. See, this is where they become, like, unbeatable. Now, every time they... Shrieking Affliction I can't cast. Every time they uh, play any of their cards, they just, like, actually net gain a card. They net gain two cards off Leyline Binding. Well, I guess I just continue casting stuff. Oh, 
Oh, I can Molten Rain for what it's worth. Uh, what should I Molten Rain, though? Indatha? This is their only red source. So I guess it's Rogren. Boom, take two damage. That puts them off of Omnaths for a, a moment until they get another fetch land. <laughs> More stuff I can't cast. Uh, so I guess we push this. Oh, it doesn't work. Like, I can't just let Risen Reef sit on the battlefield. There's another Risen Reef. Here's a bring to light. Oh, time warp. Uh, I'm trying to think of like how how I could possibly win this game, and I don't think it's feasible. Uh, I think it's totally reasonable to just scoop here. I, none of my racks are castable because I, of the chalice. I have no way of getting rid of the chalice because I don't have any K commands in the deck right now. So like, I can't cast lightning bolts. In the artifact take, uh, not in the current configuration, no. So I think it's okay to just scoop here. I mean, they're drawn two cards off their time warp. Uh, once they get to this, their engine going, they're just like unbeatable. All right, so this is match number four against Lix Stannis. And we're gonna be on the draw again. So this is a six lander with a rack. That's a mulligan. This is better. So we'll keep and bottom. I like all these cards. These are all good cards. Bottom lightning bolts. Then I have no interaction if they play like a Ragavan or something. Could bottom the rack. It's not of much good quite yet. It's not something you want to play really early. Because then your opponent will like play around it. Uh oh, Blood Crypt. Oh, we didn't get turn one griefed. Okay. I'm just going to grab a basic swamp. Thoughtseize. So it's just scam again. Bow Master's Fable, Dothy. I think I'll take Bowmasters. Yeah. Here comes the Dothy. So let's Lightning Bolt that. And let's Inquisition them. 
Take Fable. Yeah, you just gotta take Fable, right? Or else you lose. They take Croxa. Makes sense. Well, I could facilitate playing it next turn. They do have a Terminate in hand, however. So it's probably not worth it. Probably better to hold on to this bolt for a Raghavan. Raven's Crime? They discard lightning bolts. It's tempting to just do that again. Sure. Discards fury. So their hand is terminate plus one unknown card. Bowmasters. So do I bolt Bowmasters? Probably not. Like, I don't draw extra cards. There's just two one ones. They have a lot worse threats, like Dothy is, is the major threat. Fatal Push, not bad. Another Bowmasters. All right, so let's push the token, since it's a 2-2. Two -two. I would love to get rid of that Terminate in their hand. Molten Rain, okay. Sure. Boom, take two damage. Doffy. Oh, I, sh I should have gone for Croxa there. Because he would have just made them discard that Terminate. They were tapped out. That was a mistake. Pillage. I mean, this is fun and all, but it's not really getting us anywhere. Yeah, I blew it. I had a chance there. They were totally tapped out. They had only one card in their hand, which was Terminate. And I didn't cast Croxa. So that's probably why we're going to lose this game. 
if we do lose. All right. So we won't make that mistake again. Oh, they, they have mana up, though. That's the problem. I could Raven's Crime him. I go to one. And then even if I play Croxa, I, I die. That doesn't work. If I Raven's Crime, they attack me for two, I go to one. Then I get back Croxa, but they still have two attackers. Ugh. I don't really have anything better to do, though. Oh, I meant to Raven's Crime, but <laughs> you gotta click on Raven's Crime. Yeah, they do, which is not much. Um... Maybe I have enough cards in my graveyard to escape him twice. I don't think I do. I actually, I do actually, but it doesn't matter. We're still in the same position. Yep, there's the Terminate. Fable. And yeah, we're dead. Ah, oh, man. That was such a mistake. I made such a huge mistake. I don't have that. That's in my sideboard. Uh, and I think I am going to board that in. Now, I don't think they're going to board out all their creature removal because they saw uh, Croxa. They're going to keep in removal for that, so I don't think I fully want to switch over to the Rabble Master plan. Is there anything else I want besides these Bontus? Maybe go blanks. I don't know. I don't think that's necessarily worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think I'll I'll get rid of a couple of pillages. I'll cut one Croxa, because they're probably going to board in some form of Graveyard Hate. Liliana's not the best against them with the Bowmasters. They always have bad stuff to sack, and the Fables. Alright, let's see if we get to play Magic, or if we get scammed on turn one. Okay, uh, I can Thoughtseize on turn one, so I guess that's a keep. Or do I want to save this to play... I, I want a Thought Season turn one. Thought Season Raghavan Fable. Well, I guess we take their Thought Season, right? Because otherwise we can't kill Raghavan. Fable is just such a dangerous card, but what can you do? Draw Bontus.
Bolt the monkey. Dothy. Untapped land of some kind. Okay, that's not bad. So I think we have to... Shock a blood crypt. And let's minus and kill the Dothy. Comes Fable. Or Borg. Bontus would let me keep Lily alive. But it's only hitting one creature right now. And it takes me out next turn as well. They have three cards in hand, only one of which I know. I could Molten Rain, but with the Shaman making treasure tokens that like basically does nothing hmm yeah i mean i got this molten rain <laughs> It just seems so bad to like tap out for two turns just to kill a 2-2 two -two token. This would be so much better if I waited till after this flipped. But that means they get two treasure tokens. But yeah, I guess that makes the most sense. So I'll plus... I'll discard Urbor because it could potentially help them. I think I want to wait till they get the reflection and then Wrath. That makes a lot more sense. It feels bad. I hate this card so much. Uh, but let's go ahead and Molten Rain away there. Or do I draw? I think I'm going to draw off Lock Wayne. No, let's let's molten rain. This will offset the treasure that they make, so they won't be able to like hard cast fury or grief. Also, does two damage. So they didn't discard anything. Yep, they get their stupid token. The problem is, like, I could get thought seized before I even get to cast this. Or griefed. Yep, I'm gonna get griefed. There it is. Can I draw another one? Yep, that's probably GG. I should have Bontu's last turn, I guess. I don't know. That's tough. Go blank doesn't do a whole lot, just takes one card. Uh, 
I think I'll just wait and cast a Lockwing on their end step. I'll take two damage. They would have one more land and grief anyway. Yeah. Well, I would have killed their shaman token though. Thought sees. All right. Their last card. Saves be a point of life. Can I find the Bontus? The rack. What am I dead? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I am dead. I could theoretically stay alive. No, they can copy the reflection, the, the grief. Theoretically, if I find a bolt or something, I can live for another turn, I think. Go blank. Yep, that's it. Boo, scammed, scammed. It was a scam, I say. All right, final opponent is IP Show. And we're on the draw again. Um, yeah, this has stuff we can do. That's a keep. We don't have any removal, so hopefully we can dodge, like, turn one Ra uh, Raghavan. Okay. So let's Inquisition. They fetch Spell Pierce. Oh, so it's Living End. Okay. Double Shardless Agent, Force of Negation. I guess I take one shardless and hope I can find something for the second one. Or else we lose on turn three. These cards are so good for living in. It's it's unbelievable <laughs> how these how good these uh cycling Lord of the Rings cards are for this deck. Shrieking Affliction. So yeah, it looks like we're losing on turn three. I guess I can get a Croxa in my graveyard. I don't think it's going to stick when it gets living ended back to the battlefield, but it'll make him discard another card. Puts another creature in their yard. Shardless agent, GG's. Hey, I don't have any swamps technically, so I can block these street wraiths.
yeah, we can scoop here. We're not coming back from that. So give me Dothy Voidwalkers. I don't have anything really good for this. I guess the Bontus and the Go Blanks. Go Blank isn't the best. I suppose it's better on the play. Cut pillages. When they go off, they're just like, they have so many creatures. The sacrifice effects just don't seem like they're going to be Im impactful enough. In fact, maybe I want all of the all the non smallpox LD might be might do something on the play. Fatal push is probably worthless. I don't know what's better than Fatal Push. Rabble Master, K Command. Uh, I, I guess I'll I'll go keep my lilies just because she can make them discard cards. Not that that's a good thing, actually. So this is a one lander. Got him all that. Okay, this is more reasonable. We do have a Thoughtseize, we have Bantus. We'll keep this bottom. Probably lightning bolts. All right, let's go fetch a blood crypt. Botsies. Violent outburst, shardless ending, grief. So they have two cascade effects. I mean, I have to take grief, otherwise they take my Bontus and I have no chance. But even with a Bontus, we still lose to this hand. So I need to find like a go blank. Yeah, because, like, I'm just going to wrath them, and then they're just going to play another Living End. Lightning bolts. Okay, 
Liliana just doesn't do anything. But neither does Lightning Bolt. Subtlety. Uh, I put that on the bottom, right? I'm looking for go blank. But see, even go blank's not going to be enough because they have the two cascade cards in hand. So they shard list. I sweep. They cascade again, I'm tapped down due to... Uh, yeah, and they just have a grief anyway, so... We don't really have good tech against the uh, cascade decks. We should have, like, some void mirrors. We need to be prepared. They grief away my lightning bolts. So they still have a shardless agent in hand. The rack. Well, I don't think we're going to outrace them. Are we dead? Are we actually dead on board? That's a 6-4. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, we are. GG's. So our final record was... 1 and 4. In this league. Um, first league that I played in a while. And I'm not too surprised. You know, um, we're not like a meta deck or anything. Um, we're kind of more of a casual deck. But I just kind of had to play a league because it was hard to get practice queue matches. Um, so, the deck has a few issues. Um, one of the most obvious ones is, like, do these cards belong in the deck? Probably not. Like, Smallpox is an excellent card for, like, an 8-rack strategy. But uh, the additional LD spells, I kind of just put them in because, like, that's what I did with the deck originally. Um, just kind of for fun. But they ended up getting cut a lot. And, um... They don't really, of course, synergize with the main plan of the deck very well, and um, they're very slow. So, you know, a traditional 8-rack deck would have 8 racks in it. It would have, like, a full play set of uh, Raven's Crimes, uh, that kind of thing. It might even have, like, it would have uh, all the all Fatal Pushes. Um, it probably wouldn't even be a viable deck in, in uh, today's modern metagame. Although I suppose, you know, it's the kind of strategy that can always sometimes work. But obviously these, these spells um, are out of place in this strategy. As fun as they are, uh, the deck would be better off if it didn't include these cards that only destroy land and don't also make our opponent sack and discard. Um, the other spells I like... Um, yeah, Crocs is always good. Like... Uh, I think the long and the short of it is like a mono black version of this of this strategy is more powerful. I think that's just undeniably true. Um, I think our mana base isn't quite right. Uh, we I think we don't have enough red sources for our lightning scale elementals and our pillages and molten rains. That was a major issue in one uh, match that we had where we needed a red source. The lightning scale elemental would have clutched it out for us, and we just couldn't find it because I think there just aren't enough in the deck. But, um, you know, other than that, I like the deck. I think it's fun. I think burning people and making them discard stuff is cool. I think Smallpox is an extremely powerful card. Um, the sideboard needs a lot of work as well. I just don't think Bantu's Last Reckoning is a, is a good card. Um, better choices probably would be, like, maybe Anger of the Gods. 
since we're playing red, um, maybe even like damnation. Um, like you, in that last match against Living End, it's just it's just utterly useless. It just does nothing. Maybe even like extinction event or something. Uh, the deck also needs. So the deck needs better better sweepers, uh, something other than Bonti's Last Reckoning, because that cost is just too much of a cost. Um, the deck also needs better Graveyard Hate. Uh, what it has is just Dothy, Voidwalker, Go Blank, and a main board Basaju Bog. Bajuka Bog, that is. But um, I think it needs real Graveyard Hate that just wipes the Graveyard, you know, like a... A Night Hill, Night Hill Spell Bombs or, you know, Leyline of the Void. Something like that. True Graveyard Hate that just completely shuts it down uh, on the spot, no questions asked. Um, because Go Blank, you know, you, the timing could be off. Uh, this could come at an inconvenient time where your opponent's already gotten value out of the yard. Or they might have already living ended, considering it's a three-mana spell. So I just don't think this, this uh, rinky-dink uh, form of Graveyard Hate is kind of cut it in modern also you need to have some kind of plan against uh, cascade so like a couple of void mirrors is a very good uh, anti-cascade spell those could certainly be in the sideboard uh, but then we'd be cutting into like our our juke out plan which was effective in in our one win we did actually get get a win with rabble master so that was kind of cool and i do like the idea um, but maybe cutting like the death shadows for void mirrors would be good Maybe even Pithing Needle, um, because being such a discard-heavy deck, theoretically you should be able to like discard your opponent's uh, stuff that this would work against. It, finding room for like a Necromentia would be good too, um, just to like you know it, it works really well against a lot of decks like Yogmoth. You just name Yogmoth, that deck has a hard time winning. Living End, just name Living End, that deck has a really hard time winning. Or like crashing footfalls so it's definitely worth including one spell of that ilk like a necromentia so that is my conclusion regarding hate rack i did enjoy playing the deck um although you know leagues are kind of in a bad place right now in my opinion i much prefer the practice queue just because you get more diversity of matchups and it's not quite so sweaty but um i can understand why like someone would encounter a deck like this and just not want to play out a match in the practice queue so that's why we had to do a league this time but um Anyway, I had fun, and I hope you did too. And if you did, and if you like off-meta, off-kilter MTG content, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.